Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. The way we do that is by learning a few new words every day. Today is our day number 25. Day 25. Oh, I never did oh, I write these words down. Anyway. 25. The first word that I want to learn, that we want to learn today, is supercilious. And for some strange reason, especially when I'm doing uh, when I'm taking the yesterday prep course, when you're dealing with dealing with a bunch of young kids. They think that it is fun, they think that it is fun, it is hilarious to say that supercilious means to be extremely silly. It means no such thing. It doesn't mean to be super silly. And if they do think that it is super silly, then by the time they get their SAT score back, they are no longer feeling super silly. Or maybe they are feeling super silly, who knows? One never knows. Supercilious, let's learn the word. Super sil e us. Supercilious. What does it mean? It means to be arrogant, to be haughty, to be haughty. It's pronounced haughty. H O H O U. To be haughty, to be cocky. I know that you might find it uh, very funny, very amusing that I would put down the pronunciation of some such simple words, but as I've explained to you many times, it is just what I do. It is my habit as a non native speaker. I make a point of making sure. I made a point of making sure that's redundant. I make a point of learning, putting proper pronunciation against each word. Because as I said, as I explained to you before, I have learned many a times the hard way that one cannot simply go by how the word looks as far as the pronunciation of the word is concerned. Because English language sometimes sometimes can be very prickly and kinky. To make no mention of that fact. The word is haughty, khaki. Khaki is, well, is more of a colloquial term. It's more of a colloquial, uh, non formal speech, which of course you know what it means. It, means, it just means conceited, arrogant, haughty, supercilious. That's it. That's all. I wanted to get it out of my system. The word is supercilious, which has nothing to do with being silly. It just means to be arrogant, to be cocky, to be haughty, to be full of yourself, to, to think that you're better than the other. Uh, uh, the word that comes to my mind just now, I'm not sure if I want to go there. The word is narcissistic, which comes from narcissism, which comes from narcissist, was the person in the Greek mythology who happened to see his own reflection in the pond and he fell in love with it and from there from narcissus we have narcissism which means to be to be vain to be to be to, be, to have vanity I don't, want to, I don't want to go there right now because as I just realized which is not quite the same as being arrogant or cocky perhaps it is loosely speaking uh, to be to be narcissistic uh, I'm going to put it in the list so we can cover it in the future because I like that word narcissist narcissistic All right. Let's go. Let's go on and learn a few more words, which has to which has to do with uh, being supercilious, being arrogant, being cocky. We're going to learn a few words, and all of these words that we are about to learn has to do with ego, with the prefix ego. Let's learn them. 
There's quite a few actually in English language which has to do with ego. Perhaps if we erase that area, we can, or we can even put it here. Let's start putting them here. Let's put that, start putting them here. They all, they all mean the same thing. Ego, egocentric. Here's another one. Egoist. Uh, I don't like the idea of having to squeeze everything on the blackboard. I hate it to feel crowded because then I have to do it in a hurry and I cannot put everything that I want to put and so forth. So I changed my mind. We're going to erase everything and we're going to start the word starting with ego separately. Because I need the room. Because, because as you probably know, one works very hard. One works very hard to acquire the reputation of being anal and one does not want to take a risk of jeopardizing that reputation, which is why I erase everything and start again. Because one does not wish to jeopardize the reputation as I, as I, as I explained to you. Egocentric. Egoist. Ego maniac. Ego egomanic. No, that doesn't sound right. No, that does not uh, that does not sound right at all. Egomaniac. Ego me. Another one. Ego. How do you pronounce this word? Ego. Obviously. Ego maniacal. Mo. Ne. E. Call. Ego maniacal. Let's keep on going. There's quite a few actually. Ego test. Ego test, which just means to be conceited, to be boastful, to be full of yourself. Conceited person, a boastful person, an arrogant person, a self-centric person, it's called an egocentric person. Ego testing. And finally, ego is the call. Egotistical. Let's see how many of I how many let's see how many I can actually repeat without looking I won't cheat. I flip that thing over. So we have egomaniac, ego ego maniacal, ego maniac, ego maniac, ego maniacal, egotist, egotistical, egocentric. I missed two. I don't know which two I missed, but anyway, there are seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And they are all, all of them are synonym of supercilious, haughty, arrogant, boastful. So what I'm trying to say here is boastful, haughty, arrogant. And conceited. We had the word conceited written down a little while ago, which I erased it. Conceited. Now I want to now I want to learn the word. Now we want to learn a word which is a kind of opposite of it, in a sense that uh, how would you describe a person who is not uh, arrogant, cocky, boastful, does not like to boast, does not like to show off, keeps a very low profile. How would you ex how would you define that person? That's what we're going to learn. Again, as always, I need the room, so we need to arrange everything. One more time, the words were egocentric, egoist, ego egomaniacal, ego egomaniac, egomaniac, 
egomaniacal, egotist, egotistic, egotistical. They all mean the same thing. Let's first learn a word that we're going to need in order to talk about the other word that I'm getting at, which is, the word is, efface. It's a word. What does it mean to efface? Efface literally means, the word efface literally means, let me, let me get rid of this marker. This marker is not writing very well. I have to get rid of it right away because otherwise I keep picking it up every 10 seconds. I feel much better. Efface literally means to erase or to wipe out. And the expression that I was looking for, I'm not sure it will qualify as an expression or a word because it's hyphenated. Perhaps it is called a word, but whatever it is, it's right here. Self-effacing. What does it mean to be self-effacing? Literally, it means that you wipe your to wipe your existence, to wipe, to erase your existence, as in you do, you don't you don't want to be to stand out, you don't want to be too obvious, you don't want to be too conspicuous. It means to keep a low profile. Self-effacing means to have a very low profile. It means to act or to behave in a inconspicuous manner and we will learn the word inconspicuous or rather the word conspicuous we'll learn the word conspicuous in the future it just means to stand out to be to be to be blatant to be to be obvious I'm not sure if blatant is the right word because it has a negative connotation it just means to be too obvious so if the person is behaving in a very uh, if person is keeping a very low profile if person is behaving in a, in a manner that makes them very inconspicuous, they do not stand out, they do not boast, they do not go around boasting, they do not go, go around bragging about anything, they keep a very low profile, the person is said to be self-effacing. Self-effacing, it comes from the word efface, which means literally to erase or to wipe out. That was it for today. Today was our day number 25. Bloody hell, I did not put that thing down throughout the entire clip. How something like this would happen is beyond me. Today is day 25, which also means that tomorrow is a quiz day. Every, every five days I give a quiz. I give you a quiz every five days. So today, tomorrow is going to be the fifth quiz, quiz number five, which will cover all the words that we have learned from day 21 to day 25. So be ready for it. Put some effort into it and learn them properly. Uh, don't just uh, do a superficial job. Don't just just do. Don't just go through the video cursorily. That's a word we learned a little while ago. Uh, just a few days ago, I think one or two days ago. Cursory. Oh, there you go. Number twenty-two. If you watch the video for day number twenty-two, you will learn the word cursory. Just type in Keshwani Prep dash vocab dash day day 22 and it will pop right up anyway i hope you found it helpful if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring i tutor over uh, face to face I, I do face to face tutoring i also tutor over the internet via skype and over the telephone uh, if you're preparing for any of these tests the gre the gmat the sat and the toefl uh, send me an email go to any of these website addresses and send me an email and i will help you in any way that i can or you can simply go to keshwaniprep.com and send me an email from there. Okay? Thanks.